I just got these in. My son doesn't know what they are, but no, he's going to um, I'm going to guess. Help me. No, he's not going to guess cuz oh, you're going to see what you. it is, but you're going to help me. Well, you're going to try to figure out what I'm going to use them for. And so I, you're going to figure out what what it is right away. So step back. And you know, I always want to say it's computer parts because this normally is that. Okay. Oh, these are wheels. All right now. And they are heavy, huh? What the heck are these for? I mean, are they're... Are they for my bench? What bench? The bench I gave No. I mean, these just look like, like, these just look like typical wheels. Like, you know, they're a lot bigger than they looked in the picture on Amazon. But knowing you, there's probably something special about it. I should have I mean, bought the smaller I mean, ones. These like, are huge, but... Like I don't know. <laughs> We're well, what are try these for? Them. Tell me, what are these? Wow, these are giant. So do me a favor, let me get the measuring tape. It's in that drawer over there. There's oh, four are... of these. These are close-up shots. So I, what is it for? I'm going to tell you right now, but I think they might be too big for what I want it for. Um, this is to lock it. See right here? It locks it. And you unlock it. The reason I got these is because they hold 1,200 pounds each. Holy according crap. to the capacity limit. That's so that's really good. Each? Yeah, so these the idea like behind it is that strong. they're going to be people on there, on this. So, wow, yeah. It's, Ooh. Um, so I like where this right is Right here going. and then right. We can make these into roller skates for really heavy people. Yeah. The wheel is huge, so the wheel is a pretty big wheel. So, I mean, um... You can use these as rollerblades. Uh, the wheel is <laughs> about four inches also, <laughs> round. They're pretty big. Very rubbery. I don't know if they're gonna work. They might be too big. So what do you think I'm gonna use this? First, let me do a close-up. Let everyone see how it looks like. They are bigger than they look in the picture. I want to say, I wanna I wanna say, say. you're gonna use these for like some kind of thing that we can ride on. Um, it's not a desk. No, not a desk. It's gonna be something chair. nice, not to ride on, chair. but to move around. Chair. I'm kind of giving up. I'm so kinda you already gave up? Wow. What do you think? Chair. For um, a chair? What chair? That's the only thing chairs. I can think of. Is a chair. The wheelie chairs. Okay. So let's do a close-up look first. Oh, is it going to be for the... No, oh, never mind. I don't think it'd be so this is the wheel. Is it going to be for our, our, our I know car what seat? They're for, and I think they're the perfect size for it. Our bench? What do you think? A they're bench? for the racing car. Very good. I, know, I was actually just gonna, I was just about to say the probably Ah, that. you didn't say it right away. Uh, Mom got it first. She okay, got it good. Why, why so the reason I got them so that? big, so I can move it around because it's very difficult. All right, so let me, let me pan out to the bo, chair. Bo. So this is our racing VR chair. And it, this thing is really, really heavy. And this supports, I think, like 800 pounds. Wow, these person. things lock into a position. So I'm going to put these at the bottom, but I didn't think they were going to be... So, I think these are perfect size so for that. big. That's a big chair. But it might be enough, you know, to get it around, to wheel it, even outside, if we're moving it to another location if we move or something it would be easier yeah, we're, we're never gonna move happy. we're never gonna move. so this is how if you see in the bottom it has these little pegs and on the rug it's really really difficult to move this around i have to lift it up and this thing is heavy so you literally need like two people one in the front and the back i usually store this i put it in the back in the corner out of the way but then when we're gonna play with it i bring it out like it is right now but bringing it out it's very, very difficult to get it over the rug and everything. It starts pulling on the rug. And um, I just bought these wheels and I'm hoping that I could screw them on underneath with sheet metal screws or self-tapping screws. And um, I can just wheel it around. And the reason I got them this size is because of the weight. It says 1,200 pounds. So this should be, one of these should be, I, four of these should be well enough to support someone who's 300 pounds on this. Um, plus the actual frame itself, because this thing is heavy. I, I think it's, I'm going to say between 100 to 150 pounds total. So it's heavy. And you add another person who's 200 pounds, 300 pounds, that's a lot of weight. Now you're talking about like 400 pounds sometimes on this. 
and you're pressing hard on it on the pedals when you're playing so i'm hoping that this will work so let me look underneath so these are the pegs that are underneath we just turned it sideways the whole chair and we are i'm gonna put them like here somewhere or you know what maybe here two screws here i i you know two screws here I, I have to figure out a way of putting them and then over here i'm gonna have to put them over here somewhere all right so let's see what i can come up with so what i'm gonna do first is i'm going to remove one of the pegs the front peg because i'm gonna screw on these are two pieces right here so there's two different two different areas right here so I don't want it just supported here. This is thin. If you look, this is an actual Hollow. thin piece. So I want to give it more support with the leg, with the front leg. So I'm going to put one screw here because that's all that'll fit. And then the other screw into this. And that should be more than enough support. So it's going to go something like... That was, it's going to go more something like this. So each wheel locks so that you're not sliding all over the place. Each. So I'm gonna put one here and one down here, and that should be enough support. It's too big to put another screw here. I'm gonna try to angle it, but I don't know if it's gonna, I'm gonna be successful. So let me just try this for now. Okay, let me put it, this should be right there. So I've decided to use Velcro. Uh, just to give it more support when I screw it in, it'll stay more stable. Just like really good, strong Velcro. And, uh, this is like duct tape Velcro. Well, it won't move. It's not going to move much. So, and let me then go back to screwing it in when it stays stable. Again, I'm using the Velcro. This is actual Velcro itself. I'm putting it on here. And, um, okay, I got the other one off and let me stick it to the back. Now this one's going back here I'm planning to put what I'm planning to do is put two here which I have on some velcro there so I don't need it all here let me cut this velcro in half so again velcro I'm putting it right here I'm gonna get two of them screwed on there okay For the last one, I put a screw in at the bottom. Two screws here, one there. One doesn't have a screw because there's nothing to screw it to. And I can't do it at an angle either. So this is the back. This is how the bottom is gonna be also. I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom here. Same way. The front, I'm doing the same thing. These two screws here, the third one in the middle there and then i'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom so i ended up using one inch self-tapping screws self-drilling uh, what does it say they're latch screws one inch and these are the washers i use a half uh, five eighth inch washers. I just finished it.
They're all locking wheels, which is good. It locks, when you push down on the lock, it locks everything from the wheel moving, from this turning, or the wheel moving at all. So that's what the lock does. Keeps this steady, like it's uh, stationary, which is great. It has it on all four wheels. That's why I bought it. And that's the bottom. The two of them are right there. One there, one there. Now let's put it down and see how it works. I gotta tell you, I'm really happy with them. They're black, so they match, and you can see I'm moving this thing all around with no with no problem at all with these. This is so cool. I'm glad I purchased them. So if you lock them. Shoes on, so it's hard. Huh? Very easy to lock, and now it's locked into place. Doesn't move at all. I'm actually gonna sit in it. No problems at all. It's supporting my weight. I'm about 150 pounds, so it's showing absolutely no issues whatsoever weight-wise. Like it said, it holds 1,200 pounds, so no issues whatsoever. When I am sitting on it, you can see my feet on the pedal. This is really cool. I'm glad I did this. It makes moving this thing around so much easier when I need to get to the corner over there to slide it back and forth. This is, and bring it out when we're playing. It, you know, I could slide it sideways, any which way I want, which is really nice, very convenient. Also, like I said, if we ever move, we move this to another location, it'll be easier to transport with these wheels much much easier and they seem to be holding out 1200 pounds each so they should support anybody who sits on this setup so i hope you like the video i hope it helps thank you bye